Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Tag Force Evolution, also known as the beginning of Destiny because Americans like to be different, is the PlayStation 2 port of the first Tag Force game for the PSP, and it was my favourite Yu-Gi-Oh! game growing up, to the point I considered buying a PSP exclusively so I could play the rest of the Tag Force series. I've beaten this game many times, at this point I know who's got the strongest decks and where to find the best cards, so I decided to test just how good my knowledge of this game truly is by trying to beat the game only using the deck given to you at the start. If we strip ourselves back to only our essential basics, just how far can we go? And honestly, I was very surprised with how this went. The game plan is, so this will be our starting deck. It's very water themed. It's like GX era water structure deck, you know? It's not exciting, but it's not terrible. This is why I think this challenge might be doable. There's not a lot of technicality with this deck, I suppose you'd say. It's a very straightforward, make big creature hit them until they die. There's no like, oh, I can draw a lot of cards or I can destroy a lot of spell traps. No, it's the brute force deck. With that in mind, who is going to be our tag partner? And I was thinking about this because I've been playing this game in my own time, just like 100%ing it. And I've been going through the the tag partners. And I think the best option is weirdly Bastion Misawa. Unironically. The guy that nobody really likes, he might actually be, uh, be the winning ticket here. His pre-tag force deck is pretty much just 1,900 like beat stick cards, which is fine. But then his Tag Force deck is his Hydrogeddon deck, which is water focused. So if I can just support his deck using my like water equip spells and Umi, <laughs> basically we are just going to be support for Bastion Misawa. <laughs> class is about to begin to go to the classroom. Now Velian awakes. <laughs> Professor Crowler. I, whenever I think of Crowler, like my voice immediately wants to slip into Papyrus. <laughs> it's like, yeah. You're the new transfer student who came today. Wait, no, he, in the dub, he's like super British posh, isn't he? I'm Bastian Misawa. Nice to meet you. Class will start soon. I'll see how bright you are. Ah, uh, he's a pompous prick, but he's going to help us. So you're new. <laughs> Zane is just edgelord. You're new here, aren't you? I can tell a lost puppy when I see one. <gasps> woof, woof. <laughs> I'm Alexis Rhodes. Hope we'll be friends. If you ever get lost, feel free to ask me. Yes, ma'am. I've never seen you before. You do? I'm Chimley, Chimley Huffington. <laughs> Why did he turn into fucking Kermit the Frog? I flunked a year, so I'm still a freshman. <laughs> Why is that the voice? My brain was like, yep, give him that voice. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the color hierarchy is red, yellow, blue. So blue is the top. And, um, red is the bottom. And there's a reason. There's an easy way to remember, because this school is owned by Kaiba. So, Slifer. Like, red is Slifer, which was Yugi's god card. So that's the bottom tier, because Kaiba hates Yugi. And then... Uh, Ra Yellow is just middle ground because he has no opinion. And Obelisk Blue is the top because that was Kaiba's god card. There's a moment that will forever stick with me. Two moments that will forever stick with me in the dub. I'll do it. Where... <laughs> so there's one where Jesse Anderson plays Am Crystal Beast Amber Mammoth. This <laughs> giant prehist prehistoric, I don't know, ancient ass, ice age ass creature. What, what sound do you think it makes? Because it makes Arnold Schwarzenegger low noises. It's so dumb. And then there's a brilliant moment during the Shadow Riders arc as well, where Don Zalug, who is the leader of the Dark Scorpions, who is an actual card in the game, he he summons himself, and he's because he's got like the Christopher Walken voice. He's like, I summon Don Zalug, and when I say there's only one of me, well, I mean it literally. And then he steps onto the duel field himself. <laughs> he literally 
moves like a meter forwards <laughs> to stand on the dual field. It's so dumb. It's genuinely ridiculous. I love the anime so much. The way you make friends in this game is you f you force feed them sandwiches. You talk to them every day and you force feed them as many sandwiches as you can fit down their gullet. I want my penguin back. <laughs> Give me my penguins. I fucking love penguins. Let me just stuff this into my own face because Bastion will hate that. Bastion don't want my spicy fish. Bastion only likes salad and green things. Like a fucking weirdo. Oh, golden egg. Done. 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 Fuck! Okay, second chance at the golden egg. Here we go. D Fuck, God damn it! Why? Why can I not draw sandwiches? There, I just need to not think about it. I just need to not think. There we go. Well, just the usual. We had an okay talk. Would you like this sandwich? It's golden, like your jacket. Oh man, this tastes great. You know I really like this. Thanks a lot. This is delicious. Yeah, no problem. See you tomorrow. <laughs> and this is how we play part one. We feed them a golden egg sandwich or their preferred sandwich. And then we go to bed at 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> because who needs class? Not me. Oh my god, Sadie, I love her. Isn't she just the cutest? I mean, Alexis is still my fave girl, but... She's Sadie! She's adorable. And also, if you... Because they can't accept sandwiches, because they're not, like... You can only feed sandwiches to made characters to befriend them. If you offer her a sandwich, she goes, No, I, it's okay. Like, she acts really sundry. She's like, No, it's okay. I don't need it. And then, she, like, it says, You can see her drooling. <laughs> if I get a bad sandwich, I'll, I'll try it. Damn it. Okay, well. Yeah, if I, if I want to give her the rice ball sandwich, she won't accept it, but she's reluctant. Ah, a sandwich. I hope it's the golden egg, which... What? It's for me? That's sweet, but I can't take from students. Drool. No, I don't want it, really. <laughs> She's adorable. I'm going to eat it right in front of her face after she drooled over it. <laughs> Imagine, yeah, there's like a game over like, you died from overeating. You had a heart attack. <laughs> Congratulations. <gasps> Not Michizori. No, my Gaga Gigo. I just grew attached to him. I just named him George. Alright, I got more sandwich money. <laughs> so, I'm beating up other school children in order to purchase lunch with it. Am I a bully? Is that canon? I'm just a bully in this universe stealing everybody's lunch money? <laughs> yeah, I bully everybody out of all their money. Nobody can upgrade their decks because I've stolen all of the money. And poured it into the sandwich fund. I just like the headcanon now that, like, Sadie is working part-time at the sandwich store so that she can save up to go to, like, university for something. University for card games. <laughs> and I'm single-handedly funding all of that. I'll do it. <laughs> okay, but I like his always- he's always confident no matter how many duels Ken you loses. He always comes back full confidence. You gotta respect that. Look, can you- we could make this easy and you could just give me your lunch money. I don't have to duel you every time. No, oh, my my, mo my motherfucking star boy. <laughs> no. The weekend isn't gonna be happy about that one. Aw, oh, golden egg witch is here. I'm angry. Oh, thank God. She's, she's taking pity on me. Hell yeah. Is there someone around here you're looking for? Yeah, you bitch. I accidentally hit dual mod item. Let's check out his deck. Show me what you got, Bastion. I want to see your deck. I've talked about this many times before, but the whole concept of the guys having red, yellow, blue, but girls having a single dorm is so 
weird to me. It's like sexist, but the wrong. <laughs> I was about to say the wrong way around. It's sexist, but the other way around. Not the wrong way around. The the atypical way around. This is like, yep, if you're female, you immediately get into Obelisk Blue. It's like, what the hell, man? This deck has, like, no draw. <laughs> There's no draw potential in this deck, so I'm just gonna have to be... Oh, look at you showing off with your pot of greed. What does it do, huh? How about you tell me what it does? I mean, if I just get a 2,000 defense, I could live on 200. That's really not helpful. Oh, uh, shut up, Bastion. <laughs> There's a reason nobody likes you. Although, he does say something really sad towards, like, the end of his, um, like... Because every time you chat with them, they'll, like, progress, like, a sort of mini storyline. And <laughs> one of the things he'll say is just, like, You're the only one who comes to hang out with me. And it's like, oh. <laughs> I guess people can get pissed at me because I haven't hung out with them. That's cool. I ate the sandwich! I wasn't paying attention. Now, <laughs> gotta lock in. If, if my VTuber model could lean, this is where I'd do, like, the lean toggle, you know? Hang on, I can, I can emulate it. Alright, gotta lock in. Dude, dude. Fuck! That's ham. Okay. Well, he doesn't dislike ham. It's because I couldn't properly lean to lock in. I wasn't properly locked in. Oh! I I just randomly clicked and got the one I wanted. Cool. <laughs> I had like a froggy throat. And now I've got the hiccups instead. Wah. Oh! I just remembered I'm not a fish and all of a sudden my hiccups are gone. <laughs> oh! Dang it! I said fish. It's amazing how that works. You're just like, yep. Just remember, buddy. You're not a fish. It's as simple as that. You just... You ain't a fish anymore, buddy. So stop thinking like you are one. And then your hiccups just go. <laughs> oh, god damn it! <laughs> I laughed at myself and it made me hiccup again. <laughs> ah. Sure, get rid of that. I want you to draw more cards. I... I actually want you to run out of cards now. Yeah, there it is. Good Goblin ca Housekeeper. God, he just doesn't stop. Why did they not just give him Exodia? That would be hilarious. Just randomly just be like, yep, this guy has Exodia, by the way. Oh, I'm going to troll him. I'm going to make him just constantly be taking the five damn 500 from <laughs> this every turn. Wait, it makes you discard the card too? Oh, this is even better. I'm just going to sit here and watch him suffer. This is amazing. I just get to watch a man die before my eyes. I'm just going to keep ending because this is hilarious. Am I the only one who does this? I bully CPUs in video games like this a lot. Whenever I get the opportunity, I love to bully CPUs in video games. I don't bully people. I, I'm not like a toxic competitive gamer. But against CPUs, I do this shit for fun. Oh, he's doing it again. Reverse trap. I'm actually rooting for him. I want him to get it right one time. I just want to see what happens. Oh no, yeah, this dude is a caveman. Yeah, he, um... His plot line is that he was... He was one of the strongest class of students in the school. He was Obelisk Blue. And then he... He kept bricking, which is the game's term for, like... You just draw bad. So he left the school to live in the woods to learn to draw cards better. And then he became so good at drawing cards that he could accurately predict every card. Oh my god, did he just get it right? <laughs> uh, he he got so good at drawing cards that he like could always perfectly predict what card he was going to draw. He is the epitome of heart of the cards. Alright, we got another chance at the Golden Egg Witch. What if I, like, just close my eyes? Do you think I can get it with my eyes closed? <laughs> no, apparently not. No, don't eat! I made that mistake last time. <laughs> I look away from my screen and accidentally click eat. 
take the sandwich. Wait. You didn't? Oh, he's doing his one-two draw thing. I don't care about your weird puzzle. I just lost a sandwich into you. <laughs> yes, I'm this petty. If you won't accept my sandwich, I'm restarting and... <laughs> I'm digging that sandwich out of your esoph esophagus? I was about to call it a sarcophagus, but that's definitely wrong. <gasps> I've been selected as a recommended duelist! Free sandwiches, let's go! <laughs> There's no story. There's no intrigue, you know? I can't form a relationship with Alexis in Duel Links. <laughs> in this game, I can hang out with Alexis and she's like, Teehee, thanks for hanging out with me. You're, you're always so kind. And I'm like, oh, thank you, Alexis. <laughs> I don't get that in Duel Links. <laughs> I can't give Alexis a cream sandwich and then she's like, oh my god, I love you. <laughs> it's all I want in life. Can't form a relationship with Sandwich either. Yeah, exactly. These are the problem. This is why we need to bring Yu-Gi-Oh RPGs back. We we need we need Yu-Gi-Oh RPGs to come back, especially for the sandwiches. I want to fuck the golden egg sandwich. Wow, what? That's the smartest thing I've ever seen the AI in this game do. Sending it back to my... Although he could have just destroyed it. Really. He he could have just destroyed it. <laughs> but specifically using its effect. Sacrificing 100 life points to send it back to the hand. That's genius. Oh, he is sacking his own monster. Interesting. I didn't think the AI would do it. I'm so used to forbidden memories where they're like, Oh shit, I can't, can't do it. Better go into defense mode. Oh my god. The AI is better than the PS1. Who would have thought? <gasps> Gemini Elf! I love that card. <laughs> Women! <laughs> For fu Stop countering everything, you dick. <laughs> I'll let you have the glory, Bastion. Don't worry, I'm a bro like that. <laughs> Wee! Suck it, Terrence. The hell kind of name is Terrence. You know, he plays Heart of the Underdog, but he really is the underdog of the story. Because, you know, when you think, oh, I'm going to try and beat the game with only the starter deck, you'd think, oh, you'll want to tag with Zane then, or Jaden, somebody who can really carry you. But no, I'm going all in with Bastion. I don't even really like the guy, but I think we can complement each other's decks really nicely. No, there's no golden eggs in you, Sadie. I can make your eggs golden. Sounds a bit weird. <laughs> Doesn't quite work, does it? I was trying to figure out how to how to work it to uh to seduce my girl, but mm, just <laughs> no way to work eggs into a workable flirt, really. <laughs> Man, I got so many heads of lettuce. How about I give you a head? Instead. <laughs> I'm gonna go feed my, my bro now. Ranked second. Yeah, this. This is so sad. I'm ranked second in my class. You'd think people would notice me a little more. I mean, number two is a good thing, isn't it? Hmm. He's so sad. Here you go, buddy. Eat some lettuce. Feel better. Alright, let's chat with him. You can't have a bad conversation with somebody if you got a cat with you. Everybody knows that. Oh, it's you. You've been watching me closely, Dai. I've been thinking a lot recently. Maybe I had, have some kind of weird power. Some kind of hidden power that makes me invisible. Sorry, I'm just talking nonsense. Here, have a cat. <gasps> you don't even want to chat with me today? Buddy, what's wrong? Oh, he won't chat with me. But I got Pharaoh and everything. Sadie! <laughs> she sees me walk through the door and she's like, Oh, fuck, not again. <laughs> not you. Sadie, my girl. Hook me up with some more of those carbohydrates. <laughs> Here to buy another thousand sandwiches? You know it. What do we got? <gasps> Golden Egg Witch. It's the final piece of the puzzle we need. Fuck. <laughs> Sadie, please. 
I'll, I'll leave you be for 84 more days if you just give me the golden egg glitch. I'll be done after that. Okay, we're gonna focus. Lock in, gamers. That's a melon. <laughs> melon! <laughs> I might eat it right in front of her. Mmm, melons, delicious. The sandwich is great too. Ha <laughs> ha! It's just like, the whole thing is just me failing to flirt with Sadie the whole game. <laughs> like a weird subplot of, I only buy all these sandwiches to spend time with Sadie. Do you want gyoza? These are only plus ones now, so... <gasps> He's done! I'm gonna force feed him the rest anyway. Bastion has been completed. Friendship acquired. I would love it if they just gave the weirdest archetypes loads of new support. Like, I just want to see the dumbest shit start becoming meta. Like, oh yeah, let's bring out a whole archetype for Hitotsumi Giant. <laughs> oh shit, another recommendation? Let's go. Come here. Talk to me, buddy. Hey, Daya. I was up thinking all night. Will you be my tag? Why are you blushing like that? Pride flag question mark? Why? Well, I know that you won't pretend I don't exist. Don't laugh. I'm counting on you. Aww. Cute. He like likes me. Oh, I didn't go collect my DP before I did that. We're done now. We can just sleep until the tournament. Who's ready to sleep 82 days? I'm God's sleepiest soldier now. Hi. Uh, sorry, I need to sleep. I'm tired. Some other time, yeah. In like 80 days, I think I'll be fully rested. Suspicious facility? Uh, sounds tiring. <laughs> I better go to bed. Oh my god, again? What the hell? Thanks, Shepard. Yippee! Ooh. Bro! Bastion out here catching strays from Dorothy. Okay, we're not upgrading the deck here, but for a speed run, I'm just curious what we can get out of them, and that's promising that we can get Hydrogeddon. So every time we get recommended as a duelist, I'll just collect 10 packs. We're just going to see what we can get out of his card packs, but not upgrade the deck. I just like the gacha, okay? I have, I have to roll the gacha. <laughs> I did not remember this, so when I replayed it a year ago, I got to this, saw Alexis was cosplaying Harpies, and was like, this was made for me. <laughs> she, She's a Harpy girl. My favorite girl from GX is cosplaying my favorite archetype from DM? Excuse me? <laughs> I'll handle it myself. I summon me. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, this is fucked. <laughs> Rut row. Uh oh. At least I can get rid of Dark Magician Girl. Honestly, because that's her. <laughs> I destroyed Dark Magician Girl. I think that should just be an instant loss for her. <laughs> I literally killed her. How can she be dueling still? I sent that back. <laughs> I live another turn. Well, this is not useful to me. I don't give you the satisfaction. No way, I won! Wow, she's... You know what? Maybe losing ain't so bad. She she like likes me now. <laughs> yes, everybody wants to fight the hot chick. <laughs> everybody wants to get beaten up by the hot girl. I understand. Hashtag relatable. I want her to look down on me and her call me pathetic and then then I'll, I'll be able to live on. Part one is now complete! So in three hours, we've completed part one. So with part one swiftly out of the way, it was time for the real challenge to begin. The Tag Force tournament has us teaming up with our chosen partner for a series of tag duels, but on each duel you have to wage your tokens and try to end up with 90 by the end to make the finals. Typically people save scum here, so if they lose a duel they just restart the game to get their tokens back. However, I decided for an added challenge that we would not be doing that. 
So this would be a true test of skill that would make us question just how confident we are in this starter deck. And how much do we trust Bastion to help carry us? The Princeton Group is fully sponsoring this tournament. You definitely had enough room in that text box to, <laughs> to say that. We're also beaming this tournament worldwide without your consent. So not only is it owned by Kaiba, it also has the funding of the Princeton Group, which is like a another con conglomerate. Is that the right word? It's like another big corporation along the same vein as Kaiba's. So it's like two big powerhouses of capitalism just came together to spawn a tower exclusively for a kids card game tournament. Okay, how's this gonna go? Because we need to gamble, but I don't have a lot of faith in my deck. So... <laughs> Bro, he... Bastion drew two penguin soldiers. That's his starting hand. Oh god. <laughs> Bro is bricking. You're the carry of this team and you're bricking now. Oh, it's Beastie Boy. It's the Beastie Boys. And then flip. Yes. <laughs> and now I have the penguins. They're both mine. <laughs> Throw Yomi ship down. Because he can't break through that, so he's going to hurt himself on that. And then Chumley will attack with... If you put some at face down, it's another Nimble Mortal Magalna then. But if it's something in attack position, it's just going to die. Well, that was certainly not those two things. That's lethal, right? All these three combined, assuming he doesn't have another trap. <laughs> oh, wait, I have a way to counter this, though. Get fucked, idiot. <laughs> I was holding on to this the whole time. <laughs> Screw you, Crowler. Where'd that PhD get you, huh? Wow, imagine getting lethaled by penguins and Yomi ship. That's embarrassing. Consider your ancient gears rusted and your koalas drowned. Yeah, I, uh, I heard this, j this game in Japanese actually has voice acting. So there are mods you can get that reinstates the Japanese voice acting, so it, these these cool animated cutscenes aren't so damn awkward anymore. Oh, wait, that's a brilliant... <laughs> that's a brilliant idea, Bastion. Wait, it doesn't work! <laughs> it doesn't work because it's Silent Swordsman. <laughs> We're just giving them life points, Bastion! You're supposed to be the smart one! What? <laughs> now he's getting rid of it! Bro, that was free life points! What? <laughs> I am so confused. I swear to God, if you call it right again. Oh my God! Do you ever fail with that? <laughs> Do you ever fail with your coin toss on that thing? Well, what is that? Cannot be destroyed by battle? I mean, it's still going to die to the card effect because they always win the coin toss with this thing. <laughs> See? What is this nonsense? And now we just lose. He should have just penguin soldiered. Yippee! <laughs> I didn't blast it, yippee. Even if we lose the, uh, the coin toss, Bastion will keep attacking at it. What? Is what is this? What are you doing? What is happening? I'm so confused. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what? what abilities are popping off? It what? We lost the coin toss, so a tribe infecting went to zero attack, but it still got destroyed. That's what I got. If you call it right again. Fuck me! It- Okay, you know what the worst part is? I think that AI is allowed to cheat there because it doesn't declare it. Like, the game doesn't tell you whether they picked heads or tails. It just decides after the fact whether it went well or not. And now whatever the hell you have face down, surely it cannot survive Hydrogen. Okay, good. Yeah, sure, let's activate Hydrogen's effect. I don't have any. <laughs> but hey, I get to shuffle my deck for free. So, that's a bonus, I guess. 
Alright! We broke even against the bullshit RNG! What do you got? Necro Valley? What a surprise! Turn one Necro Valley! <laughs> Get Dust Tornado, bitch! Love this guy. I do love Damon too. He's such a silly. You have a second one! <laughs> Who is this bitch? Why is she top decking double Necro Valley? Because that's the big thing about GX games, like this and Spirit Caller. They're like, oh, you've got to go to class and do exams. And I'm like, why? Like, <laughs> what do I get from going to class in this game? I don't get cards. Like, I'm not locked out of certain mechanics. That would be a cool idea. It's like, oh, you can only use polymerization once you've learned it in class. Lock me out of mechanics, force me to go to class in on Dual Academy. Like, <laughs> it's so ridiculous to me. I know why they skip school so much in the anime. Because they learn nothing. <laughs> Will he sack his own to kill Sparkman? He does! Yo, okay. Bastion going hard right now? And he's sending him back to his deck, too. Which means next turn, when he destroys another monster, he'll be able to uh, summon it from the deck again. Absolute frigging legend. Bastion is absolutely on one right now. Okay, please. I swear to Christ, Lightning Vortex. Lightning Vortex, scrap the big monster, bring it back with Primitive Burial. Right? Yes. Are you gonna big- is Bastion big braining? Is Bastion using all of his IQ right now? Oh my god, he's doing it! <laughs> he's doing it! <laughs> he's pulling his cock out! I just learned something new today. I thought there were set values every time. When I last dueled Zane, he was like, let's wager one. And I was like, wow, best duelist, really confident in his skills. But they're both offering five now. <laughs> they both wagered five. Probably a bad sign. I don't know. I got the confidence. I got that starter deck confidence, baby. No, I'll save it. I'll save Divine Wrath. You can know it's there. <laughs> be intimidated. <laughs> Cyrus, be intimidated by the fact I have Divine Wrath. Okay? Just know. Any time you look at my spell traps, that thing could die. What are you doing? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. United We Stand is so strong. Holy shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a Jinzo. <laughs> Wait, Jinzo got rid of Metal Reflect Slime? All right, Bastion, now's the time for the anime comeback. Wait, I just realized Metal Reflect Slime didn't come back. Metal Reflect Slime's just stuck. <laughs> I didn't know that happens. Is that just like a glitch or is that actually how its interaction works? That once it goes back to the spell trap card zone, it's just stuck face up? What the hell do you sacrifice? What's a five or six star that you put face down, Cyrus? The hell is that? What was worth getting rid of gyroid for? UFO roid? That's a six star. I mean, we're going to be left on 50 life points. This sucks. Ah, oh, and he has limited removal too. Fuck. God, the character portraits are so angry looking permanently. Like, look at them in the top right. Ah, <laughs> oh, he's bringing back Whirlwind Prodigy. I assume. Yep. Oh. Wow, he just really likes Whirlwind Prodigy. He didn't even have... He didn't even have the card on hand to sacrifice it. Spear Cretin. <laughs> what a great... He's bringing back Whirlwind Prodigy again. They love this fucker. They love this guy so damn much. All right, Hydrogeddon. Get him again. Summon another one. Call of the Haunted Whirlwind Prodigy back. See what happens. Okay, yeah, these two suck. How are they ever a threat? 
they're only a threat in the anime on the pure basis of, like, they're allowed to draw the cards they need. We won before the game even acknowledged we were winning. It didn't play the dun 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 music. The game was like, oh shit, you're about to win. Bungie, two. I, I guess I'll take it. I'll take the two free tokens. If Bastion, if we somehow lo lose to Bonji and Kenyu, <laughs> I'm giving up on this friendship. <gasps> oh my god, he's going to give me a free monster to sacrifice. Oh, Kenyu. You're so kind. Oh, Bastion, don't send it back. He's going to pay 500 life points to give us a creature. It's going to be hilarious. No! Oh, fish sees up at Thunder and Aquatype. Ah, Umi doesn't benefit Aquamador. How the hell does Aquamador not benefit from water? Maybe if you beat me, I'll respect you a little. God, I love her. I don't even remember what they do in the anime. The only time I remember these two being on screen is when they're in the hot tub with Alexis. That's the one time I remember their existence in the anime. And I think they stand by at the side when Jaden and Alexis are dueling. <laughs> They're just kind of standing there watching and not really doing anything. I'm sorry! Why is Metal Gear Solid here? That's, that's their whole purpose, is those two lose so Alexis can look good by comparison. That's all they're there for. Which is a shame, because I want to see the Obelisk girls actually do more. Because the whole thing that bugs me about Obelisk Girls is there are no girls in other dorms, right? So every girl is immediately put in the highest class. Which bugs me because it's like, okay, so if they're all Obelisk, then surely they have to all be good. Otherwise, this is very sexist. <laughs> so making a bunch of Obelisk Girls be worthless duelists just makes it feel like Kaiba's just like a... Um, Misandrist? Is that the word? I guess it would make sense how Mai was invited to Battle City. Because <laughs> Mai has canonically lost every duel, so for my Valentine to be at Battle City, invited, makes sense, right? Mmm. Not ideal! <laughs> you have another one! <laughs> Fuck me! See what I mean? And there's Harpy's Hunting Ground. This is what I mean, Jasmine has a much better deck than Alexis does. She can cheat out two 1950s. Uh, they're not that strong, but we just, as you said, we just both fucking bricked hard. He hasn't summoned Water Dragon once. He's had Hydrogeddon's out and Oxygeddon in his hand, and he's never been successful in summoning Water Dragon. Not once. This whole tournament. What is the point? <laughs> you... You scrapped Water Dragon! Oh. Bonding H2O works from the graveyard. It's okay. He's not a complete idiot. I just realized... We're just going back and forth with tokens at the moment. We gain five, lose five. Gain five, lose five. We've been stuck at 35 for ages. That's a really good point, actually. Like, Bastion's chemistry deck should be more fusion-focused. Because that's what chemistry is. You're fusing the elements. So why the hell is it an effect monster? <laughs> and GX was the era of fusions. They fumbled. They definitely should have um, made chemistry deck as a whole fusion archetype. If you want to be my friend... what? what how did the Spice Girls song go? I thought she was going that route. If you want to be my friend, you got to get with my lovers. What? They have 50 life points. A Sparks would kill them right now. Hey, you lose. Congratulations. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> Outstanding play. <laughs> Maybe they start wagering more the less duelists there are. That's why Zane was starting to wager five all of a sudden. Never mind. My theory is incorrect. Next time on Game Theory, something completely different. Oh, wait, it's 2001. Why do I think it was 2300? <gasps> Umi reduces machine attack. Oh. <laughs> Umi big brain play. It was so big brain, I didn't even realize it. 
I mean, surely he's going to send... Bastion? Bastion, I would like to ask... Who the hell taught you how to duel, Bastion? I thought you were a smart boy. There were so many better targets for that removal. <laughs> there were so many better targets... What the hell was that, Bastion? At this point, I'm thinking we should have just saved Skunk. Like, <laughs> at this point, it's not even the starter deck. It's not even the starter deck that's stopping us from progressing. It's Bastion! <laughs> I'm sorry. Bastion has three Umirukas. He has one on the field and two in his hand. Is this a brick? What the fuck? I'm sorry. Speaking of bricking, where are their monsters? Did they... Did they forget to summon monsters? What is happening? I mean, I'll take it. Give me my tokens back. Umi Ruka, that... Double Dust Tornado? What is this... What is his starting hands? Why does Bastion brick? Bastion the Brick Misawa. <laughs> Rip my penguins again. Man, what is this penguin hatred I'm seeing from the opposing side today? They do not like my penguins. They're the ones causing global warming because they want to kill penguins. No, you're not allowed to kill my penguin. Not again. They're so cute. I'll never forget this one video I saw of penguins. Like, they're all walking in a line. One of them falls over and it sounds like the penguin behind him laughs at him. It's an amazing video and I'll never forget it. Like one penguin just slips on ice and the one behind him just goes... Hur, hur. It's fucking brilliant. <laughs> Love that video. My penguin! I want to go back and beat Cyrus. I really want to beat them. It's bugging me. But I don't think Bastion can mentally handle it. Hey, you got a fourth Hydrogenin in that deck, Bastion? <laughs> he just summons two more and like, wait a minute. <laughs> We're just like sitting there like, wait, Bastion, why do you have five Hydrogenins? And he's like, because I'm clever. I always wondered, why don't people just add more copies of the same card into their deck? What are they, stupid? Uh, Bastion, it's the rules to not have more than three. Screw the rules. I have my formulas. My formulas dictate we will play better when we don't listen to the rules. Bro, you have a piercing damage. You could have just... <laughs> what? Just kill him. Stop playing with your food, Bastion. Just kill the man. <laughs> Sourceless existence and cuties. I think... I don't think Fonda Fontaine's that strong. Hee <laughs> hee. Now come. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> bye bye Imagine not being allowed to play the game. Poor Fonda. I don't think she's had a card on the field, has she? Every time she's played something, I've sent it home. You're cute, but... Unfortunately, my boy Bastion ain't no simp. Hee <laughs> hee! The teacher loses! You're strong! Oh god, she's staring right into my soul. Why is Bastion so angry? I never noticed before, Bastion is very angry. He's just sitting there screaming the whole time when he's not playing. <laughs> no, you know what that is? That's Bastion backseat dueling. He's like, play the fucking penguin! <laughs> you idiot! <laughs> it's like, Bastion, shut up. You Nightmare Penguin to field spell. You can't talk. You have an eight at the Slifer of Red Dawn. <laughs> that shit's poison. <laughs> Bastion, you just don't understand. I need the sandwiches. They're the best food I've had in years. I flunked three years because I don't ever take the exams. <laughs> Bastion, I'm 25. <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> I just never turn up to class. <laughs> So I flunked every year, but I've eaten that garbage so long that 
The sandwiches are the only thing that tastes like anything anymore. <laughs> I have flowers for Algonon to my taste buds after I ate the golden egg which once. <laughs> Everything tastes like ash now. <laughs> Why do you think I came to Duel Academy? To go to school? No, I came to Duel Academy so I could play children's card games and get into life or death situations. That's the reason why I came to Duel Academy. I wanted to fight de demonic shadow riders, fight gods, fight kidnapping alchemist people, get brainwashed by some weird guy who's obsessed with tarot cards, <laughs> be sent to an alternate dimension. Honestly, Bastion, get rid of Water Dragon. Like, you just never summon it. Water Dragon is useless to you. Hydrogeddon alone is good. Like, is it Hydrogeddon or Oxygeddon, the, the water guy? I always get them mixed up. Hydro! Hydrogeddon. Don't worry, I didn't skip class. Hydrogeddon would be the water monster. Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, but yes, um. <laughs> I feel so dumb now. I, I completely lost my train of thought because of that. <laughs> I was like, wow. I just won out of this tournament, bro. I've been fighting randos for years. I just want to make it to the finals. No. I like how people aren't, like, conversing with their partners to agree on how many tokens to wager. Like, especially in the situations where one person says one and the other says five. I just expect the partner to turn around and go, DUDE! Five? <laughs> really? Ah, oh, I lost rock, paper, scissors. I'm never gonna win this duel now. If we can win... Wing Beast Schizo? Okay, we're, we're getting close. We are running out of duelists, but we're getting close. <laughs> Hopefully we can finish part two today. Oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. That, they're standing very close together. I'll leave you two to it. I've cleared out the room of most of the other duelists, so you have a bit of privacy. Yes, five. Alright. Best of three, eh? Well, at least we get a cool animation. <laughs> Steam gyroid! FMV time! God, he looks so epic. Wait, I just realized... Fuck it. Hold on. Steam Gyroid is weaker than Steamroid's boosted attack. Like, yeah, I know it doesn't have the detriment of going down. But Steam Gyroid's just kind of meh. I thought it would have, like, two 500. And now it's gone. <laughs> Can we get rid of that? Bastion, do you have a way to delete us that thing not really you can match it though that's ballsy i'll give you that that's some balls damn bastion popping off i told him to lock in and he do oh my god are you seriously bringing back blowback dragon again do you know how low health you are I will delete that thing next turn. What? Oh. <laughs> it's like, what is this pose out of Bastion? Are, are you serious? You're gonna solemn judgment at 800 life points? Wait, you solemn judgment something really stupid. Wait, why would you do that, Cyrus? You just paid 400 life points for me to just not discard a card from your hand. Ah, uh, that does make sense. Fuck, that's... Is that lethal? Or are we just barely alive? Holy shit, we just barely live. Jesus. That was scary. But... I mean, I guess he had to make that last ditch effort. Jesus Christ, that was... Scarily close. We had full life points. Pretty much. We had like 7,000 something. 
Okay, we're getting there. <laughs> Slowly but surely. I think we've wiped out every red from this tournament. And probably raw yellow as well at this point. Big brain. Heavy storm, heavy storm, heavy storm. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god, the true counter. Ah, uh, boo. You suck. We're close. We're so close. And I didn't even save scum. We're so close to finishing the tournament with the starting deck without save scumming. No, not five. What about you? Five? Okay, you're way too confident. And I don't need to do five, okay? Alright, what do you want? Viga? Five? Why does everybody want to duel with five now? F why? <laughs> why is everybody five all of a sudden? I couldn't find you earlier. <laughs> now everybody wants to wager five. Oh, you're one away? Let's make sure that doesn't happen. Wow, we are really running low on people to duel. I know I, I could probably take Opalisk Blues, let's be real. Like, with how we've been dueling, we can probably tackle Blues, but they're just annoying. There's a yellow and a blue. Okay. One? Perfect. Duron special? He named his deck after himself. I don't think I've ever dueled these guys before. I don't recognize Patience is a Virtue as a deck recipe either, so... But yeah, Patience is a Virtue is a scary deck recipe name. Because it makes me think this is just going to go on forever. Oh! No oh my lord! I just looked at his deck. <laughs> what? Oh no! That's his whole strategy, isn't it? Is to... He's just got like gravity bind, I bet. He's just gonna make us wait it out. Oh hell no. We are getting out of here ASAP, okay? I can't believe he actually has an 80 card deck called Patience. That's awful. Who'd have thought? A deck of 80 cards based around gaining life points was never going to work. Who'd have thought? It's ballsy. I'll give him that. That is a brilliant meme. It's like, why do we have the exact same deck as Gillian? I wonder if he gave us the starting deck, or is it just the standard deck you get from Duel Academy? But how the hell would you get into Duel Academy without your own deck? How does that work? Anyway, I'm thinking too deeply about the lore of this game. We were invited as special guests for the tournament. Because when it comes to tactiles, no one's better than the Paradox Brothers. What? Did they forget to rhyme? Watch and learn! Uh, what happened to the rhyming thing? Because you can actually beat over it with your creature, right? A learning vortex that also works. <laughs> Wait, yeah, get rid of Bitelin. Premature burial, right? Big brain. Resummon Bitelum. But, 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 Bastion? So now he's gonna draw Sewage in, which is a brick draw, right? Because we sent that. Or Kazajin. You have a brain control too? Are you serious? What? I have multiple questions. Special summon. Face ups? Can I do anything good with this? I mean... That's pretty good. You can definitely get rid of that. Wait, that's... That's win, right? Wow, so Spear Cretin actually was very detrimental to him because I was able to get my piercing damage back. Yippee! I have to say, I am quite surprised we've made it this far. I did not think, like, we would have such a... Not an easy time with the tournament, I would say, because we did have to go back and forth with a few people. But we beat Zane. We've beaten Crowler. We've beaten the Dox Brothers. Like, we've... We've beaten a lot of high-ranked duelists with this deck. I'm about to send a torpedo at this man. It's time to feel the pain, Crowler. 
Man, this sounds like Kingdom Hearts music. I feel like I'm fighting Xehanort right now. What? <laughs> Lightning Vortex. This is why we play Penguin first. He just scrapped Power Bomb. Zane just scrapped Power Bomb. Interesting. Wait, why can I not Divine Wrath this guy? Bastion, that was preventable. <laughs> Bastion, why did you not Divine Wrath that? I have a huge brain strat. I don't know if it's a good idea. Hold on. Get rid of all of your spell traps before I do this. Okay, big brain time. <laughs> it's time for Giga Brain. Yes. <laughs> Search. This is like main character shit right now. I'm pulling out all the big brain. Hydrogeddon. Boom. And Starboy gets an attack too. And all their spells and traps that they had are in Zane's hand, which Cyrus can't benefit from. They're going bye-bye. Into Cyrus' turn, so it's all on Cyrus to protect them next turn. Let's go! <laughs> Holy crap, that actually worked really well. I know you'll be fine on your own after I graduate. I won't be, though. I'm going to get into illegal underground dueling and almost die. <laughs> Bye. See you in a year when I come back all evil and shit. I would have said Zane deserves to be in the finals, but, you know, protagonist and that. Also, it's w I always think it's weird that Chaz and Jaden are the tag, de tag team. I didn't think they got on that well or blended that well with their decks. Like, I would have thought, oh, maybe, like, Chaz and Bastion. Because even though they were, like, at odds with each other, like, maybe Chaz has a respect for Bastion after he beat him. I would have thought Jaden and Cyrus, but... I mean, I get the Cyr like the, uh, the Truesdale brothers. So Cyrus and Zane kind of works. I would have thought Alexis and Zane would also work. Because they're both cyber-focused and besties. I don't know. Just, as I said, Jade and Chaz is a weird combo to me. Miracle Fusion? Um, Spark and... Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like what that implies. <laughs> Sparkman and King of the Swamp to make Shining. Oh, I'll do this now so hopefully Bastion, like, catches my wavelength for what I'm on about. Or I could just play... Yes, okay. I was going to say, he could play Nightmare Penguin, so that would also work, but... Whew. Okay, we lost half of our life points for it, but we got rid of a big boss. So, Jaden is going to struggle now. D oh my god, Bastion drew another spell card? Bro! Draw better! <laughs> Do your calculations not account for good draws? Bastion is living on the edge. But Chaz is bricked. Chaz is fully bricked up right now. And you know what we say to that? Wait. What? So that's two, three. We can actually go lethal. So whatever the hell those face downs are, get rid of them. And also now my, now my mother Grizzly can die. Which is all she ever wanted. Yippee! <laughs> wow, we speed ran the finals. We were having so much trouble in the in the lead up to the finals, and then we just breezed through all the main characters. Oh well, though I lost, that was a sweet duel. You're awesome. Thanks. Your hair still looks like a Karibo. Despite a few troubles along the way, we had managed to win the Tag Force Tournament and complete Part 2. Now we were in the final stretch. Part 3 is much shorter and more straightforward, but would not be easier by any means. This is the Shadow Riders arc, a series of tag duels against increasingly stronger opponents, who are paired with one of the main characters from the show, with one in particular being notoriously more difficult than the others. 
before then facing the final battle alone to beat the game. Can the starter deck really take us all the way, or would we fall at the final hurdle? It was time to find out. I've decided to continue the Tag Force tournament, because why end a tournament for our global catastrophe? God, that- Could Chaz stop preventing me from seeing Water Dragon? We didn't see it at all during part two. Oh my freaking god. Chaz. Please. <laughs> Let us play the game. I... You know what? If it's Chaz, it's probably not that strong. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Another Ojama Black down. Are we just going to speedrun part three? Is this going to be over really quickly? So what he's going to do is he's going to attack the Yomi ship. He's going to summon something. Attack the Yomi ship, get blown up, and then Bastion can finish him off next turn. There we go. So Sangan's gonna get blown up. And thus Bastion can win us our first Shadow Riders duel. So long, Don Zalug. Give me Chaz's soul back. You bitch. So you don't want to leave? Fool, I haven't lost in 3,000 years. On account of I've never dueled anybody for 3,000 years. <laughs> I've never played this game before. <laughs> but I've never lost. You're challenging me? The greatest duelist in hit. Uh, I think, isn't that Yugi Moto? <laughs> isn't the greatest duelist in history Yugi? Literally, I don't even remember this guy's name ever. How is he the greatest duelist in history? If I giant Trinade... Then... No, nah, that's not a victory at all, is it? We can get a lot of damage out, though, I would say. Then... Also, if I back to square one his Pyramid Turtle, he won't get the recruit. I don't know, does the math check out? Two, three, four, five... Wait, I think the math actually checks out. I think this is lethal. Yep, that is... <laughs> that was lethal! Even if he was still full health. That would have still been lethal. Goddamn. <laughs> Starter deck kind of goes hard, though. Sorry, Abidos. I genuinely don't even remember you in the anime. Does Is he in the anime? I don't remember his duel. Want to know why I became a Shadow Rider on to duel someone as great as you? Thank you. Until we meet again. Literally from your time, Atem, or Thief, King Bakora. Or Priest Seto. You know, there's so many great duelists from your time. Why am I going up? I don't want to be up here. So, if Bastion's here, we're not going to face Tanya and her Amazonist deck because we have Bastion, which means he doesn't get brainwashed. No. I'm kind of sad about that. Because when you see Tanya, and um, Tanya is canonically the girl Bastion simps for because <laughs> during this arc, Bastion has his soul taken by her and i'm pretty sure in the dub they actually like make a really like adult joke like bastion says we were up all night dueling or something like that and it's like whoa bastion <laughs> so like we're not gonna face her but it's like this amazonas woman that bastion falls in love with after he take after she takes his soul and then he like literally goes to another dimension just to be with her it's weird. I took her soul after beating her in a duel. And when you lose, you'll end up just like her. I'll become a woman. Yes. You'll burn. Everything will burn. Where even is that line? I was just thinking, that line's from the Security Breach trailer, right? Both of you. Well born! But it sounds like Monty, but I don't think that line's ever actually used in the game, which is kind of sad. No! Don't take my motherfucking Starboy! <laughs> no! Oh, but that's clever, though. That's a, that's a big brain move from him. I gotta give him that. Because I take the damage, and he keeps the monster, but then he also gets the, the special summon. That's big brain. I'll give him that. I mean, I guess preventing this rather than lightning vortex later is probably for the best. That's fine, I guess. Alright, set humanoid. God damn it. 
They really don't want me to play the game, do they? I am... Yeah, it was Red Eyes Beach Chick, I was correct. So, <laughs> it seems to me that I'm just the one that triggers all the traps and then Bastion's allowed to play the game. Alright, am I allowed to summon a penguin? <laughs> do I have permission from Night Shroud? Oh my god, I have permission. And I think this is a perfect finish too, right? 3,800? Oh, look at that math. Get mathed, idiot. Oh, uh, elect. Uh, <laughs> don't like this subtitle. <laughs> Knowing who he is. Oh, uh, Alexis. <laughs> Bastion, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> Things are heating up at the volcano. <laughs> I am Titan, the most dangerous Shadow Rider of them all. I return from the depths of the shadows. Remember me? He was in, like, the third episode or something, but for some reason they didn't cover that in this game. <laughs> See what I mean? I feel like Crowler's just not really done a lot in this game. Like, the Ancient Gears are not a bad deck, but he just seems to never really do anything with them. His deck is just always so lackluster. Anyways, Humanoid Slime for the victory. A very strange one. We haven't lost a single tag duel yet. And like, it's not even been close. We've just been destroying them. I'll destroy you! I'll eventually destroy you! Go back to the shadows. Get eaten by like, weird shadow monsters again. And Jaden will watch you horrifically die in front of his eyes and he'll go, Ha <laughs> ha! Cool. Because that's what happens. I think in the... In the sub, Jaden's like... Wow, those are some really cool, like, CGI effects. And Cyrus is like, CGI? You can't see CGI in reality. He's like, nah, that's some cool video editing. And Cyrus is like, I think we just watched a man die. I'm traumatized now. <laughs> and Jaden's like, cool. But in the dub, I'm pretty sure Jaden is just like, bye. <laughs> later, later, bozo. <laughs> I just remember Jaden being really upbeat about watching this man die. Jaden Yuki, he is a unique duelist. As are you. I mean, I'm literally using a starter deck. What do you mean I'm unique? <laughs> I'm unique in that I'm dumb enough to keep using the starter deck. In the sub, Lyman Banner has like a disease that's slowly killing him. And he like, he explores some ancient Egyptian ruins and then he's like slowly dying. But in the four kids version, after exploring the ruins, he gets quote unquote cursed, which means he has to search for a new body. And it's like, they didn't really need to change it. Like, it doesn't make it any better. <laughs> he's still dying. But oh no, he's not dying of a disease. He's dying of ancient Egyptian curse. Woo. Really? Bastion, come on, man. You saw him add that card to his hand. You, you didn't think you could reasonably assume that that was going to be a Clayman? You have a Heavy Storm. You could have Heavy Stormed. This was preventable. What? You, you're not going to have... Bastion, please. Alright, I got a Grizzly Bear and I'm not afraid to kill it. Alright, Bastion. Swords is gone. Get him! <laughs> Go get him, buddy! I feel like Amniel has been buying so much time for Jaden, and Jaden has done absolutely nothing with all the time bought for him. I'm sending your shit back to the hand. I could discard it for more toxicity, but I'm not gonna. Bitelun! Get rid of that claim, and finally, that thing has been plaguing us for far too long. And then Abyss Soldier, perfect finish. Boom! Two perfect finishes in one stream. Look at my math. Alright, so this one's rough. This is my wife. I love her. But this battle in the anime pisses me off, right? So initially, I think Crowler duels her initially and loses. Then Cyrus? No, Zane duels her second. <clears throat> so Crowler loses to her initially. And then Zane duels her and wipes the floor with her. But then is forced to forfeit because Camula's like, uh, actually, if you win this duel, I'll kill your brother. And he's like, so what was the point in the card game then? And she's like, duh, I don't know. 
It's so annoying. It completely invalidates Zane's whole duel. I'm Camula, not only am I a vampire, but also a Shadow Rider. But god, she's... She's an attractive little lady, ain't she? So I'll face you two simultaneously. Ho <laughs> ho! Taking on two guys at once. An average evening for Camula the Vampire. <gasps> snatch steal it! It'll be really funny! No, you should have snatch stealed it and then sacrificed it for Bikelin. Oh. But yeah. If he attacks Reflect Bounder now with that, we just lose. Oh my god, he didn't? <laughs> I'm actually surprised that AI was smart enough to not kill themselves. He's gonna destroy Yomi shit with Drilago. This is the worst scenario. Well, at least that dies. I don't think there is a way out of this. This will make us live for one more turn. Barely, but... Because Patrician of Darkness attacking... Oh my god! You do not have an answer for that. Why do you have a counter for everything I do? I don't think I've played a card. <laughs> I don't think I've played a card this entire duel. I, everything has been countered. This is the modern Yu-Gi-Oh experience. <laughs> What's that about eyes and you? I knew you were not. You know what? Now I'm kind of glad I lost. <laughs> yeah, Bastion would be like, I have my Amazonist wife. I have no need for a vampire lady. Bastion, you... Please. I need this Bastion more than you realize. Don't you want to feel those fangs? Like, come on. You can't... She's even got elf ears. Like, she's got everything going for her. No, my penguin! <laughs> Not again! Yeah, I'm gonna look through your freaking deck. You use Mystic Walk. You know, I'm just gonna look through your deck and chastise you for your decisions. Mystic Walk, how embarrassing. Oh, Cyber Dragon, how original. Fail, fail, fail. God damn it. Why does our look so bad with coin flips? Every time! Because we could survive one more turn if he doesn't summon anything, fails the coin flip, and attacks with Pyramid. <laughs> okay, well, he's just gonna fucking win again, apparently. That's three in a row coin flips he's won. Is your coin weighted? Like, how did you get Blowback Dragon's effect to trigger three times in a row? <laughs> how did you achieve that? I can't ever get it to work once. Whenever I try and use Blowback Dragon, unironically, I get like one every like 10 attempts. Man, this sucks. <laughs> monster cards? You want me to send a monster card to the graveyard? Well, I've got plenty of choices because all of these cards are terrible. Send Water Dragon Fairy. You know what? Actually, you're doing me a favor. Like, you're trimming the fat out of my deck. So thank you, Camula. Really? You have a... Why do you always have the cards perfect that you need? Oh, what a surprise. Sakuretsu Arma. Everything we try and do gets countered. Every single time. For fuck's sake. Oh, you summoned a monster? Bottomless trap hole. Oh, you attacked? Sakuretsu Arma. Oh, you have a face down? Nobleman. Fucking, what does it take? Okay, shield crush. So, oh my lord, There's a, there was a direct attack in there, there was a way to stop us from using spell traps, there was a way to... They just have so many answers in there, what the hell? I mean, look at that shit. Even if she didn't pull shield crush, she could have just said, oh yeah, by the way, this card gets to attack directly this turn. And I had no chance. Everything I do gets countered by these guys. The difficulty jump here is insane. Insane, you might, one might say. It's like everybody else was a breeze, and then these two, it's just like, no, you want to play the game? Fuck yourself. That's a good choice, yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> the one time we have a heavy storm and it's magic jammer. This is what I mean. I don't think we've had a duel where we've been allowed to play a card. Is that going to be Bottomless Trap Hole, maybe? Conveniently. No. No, but it's a Rageki break. 
This is what I mean. When will will when will we be allowed to play the game? <laughs> Bastion did so much there and everything got countered. Oh hey, blow back dragon, are you gonna win the coin toss as per usual? Could you flip it into face down? Oh well there's one. Oh would you look at that? He conveniently won the coin toss. Again! Nobody else was even close, but it seems we're just getting screwed on RNG because look at that every time! That was three heads! The odds of that are so low! <laughs> In six coin tosses, we saw one tails. What are the actual odds of that? Six coin tosses, one tails. One. Oh. Oh my god, he didn't win a coin toss! Everybody, come look! Zane failed the blowback dragon! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Zane didn't win the triple coin toss! It's a miracle! Bastion. Do we need to have words? Bastion. Come here, Bastion. What? You know the thing that costs a tribute to summon and is also causing us a lot of grief with its ability? Yeah, no. Why would you not throw that one back to his hand? Why would you throw the level four that we can't even attack into at the moment? Please, I'm doing all I can with this deck, Bastion. You need to give me a little levity. There's one. Oh. There's two. Okay, see? And now we lose. Oh no, we don't lose because she didn't summon a monster. Oh, what? The heavy storm, conveniently. <laughs> uh, why do you always have the answer? Bastion, I'm gonna need you to lock in, okay? Bastion, you're gonna need to lock the fuck in, alright? When Nightmare Penguin goes off, you send the thing that's causing us problems back to the hand, okay? Oh, now's the heavy storm time. Go on. Heavy storm. There's three spell traps. Okay, thank god. Premature. See, um, the one time we heavy storm, none of them were like the scary traps either. The one time we heavy storm, no Sakuretsu, no magic jammer. Conveniently, it's just a mystic walk. Is the AI actually cheating? <laughs> it sure feels like it. Uh, what would be strong enough? I need to probably summon an Aqua. Okay, let's do Giant Trunade. Then give it back! <laughs> Hand that shit back over! I didn't say you could leave. <laughs> oh, of course it's a free Pyramid Turtle. Alright, you'll live another turn. We just need to do 500. Never before have I wanted to have a Sparks in my deck. <laughs> Never before have I wanted 500 effect damage like I do right now. Curse of Vampire sucks. That thing is so annoying. Oh wait, you put it in defense? You know what? The stupid AI sometimes helps. I don't know why he put it in defense mode. That one went significantly better, and you know why? Bastion snatched steel the Cyber Dragon before they could play off of it. Oh my god, what a surprise. <laughs> Thank you, Bastion, for finally locking the fuck in. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that was way too much effort. But like, the one time we do win there felt really straightforward and easy, right? Like, we worked so hard in the- ugh. We worked so hard in the other ones where we lost to even come close. And then that one was just like, oh, done. <laughs> so much easier that time. Don't think you're out of the water because you won. Ha, <laughs> I get it because I, we both use water decks. I get it, clever. I built this school. I built this school on children's card games. They have the ability to grant eternal life and world domination. However, in order to wake the sleeping beasts, they require the fighting energy of brave duelists. So, so it's just like Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> oh my god, it's just like Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> <gasps> it's Gozaburo Kaiba, but old. <laughs> yeah, 
I thought it was Kaiba that owned this island. Why is Kagamaru the one that's saying he owns it? Could <laughs> I didn't realize this was a battle of rock, paper, scissors. Thank you. <laughs> so if I just play defensive and then send his god cards back to his hand, he will eventually run out of cards. So now we just wait. It's going to be a very long duel. But this is the best way to beat him. No! My... Hmm, I'm going to lose my back to square one. Dang it. At least I still have, like, share the pain and stuff. Ah, oh, now you summon it. Oh, I shouldn't have skipped that, actually. There he is. Raviel, Lord of Phantasms. <laughs> Gets, like, a whole cool cutscene for an attack. Well, that's badass. I'll give him that. Oh my god, he slashed the camera. Put Mother Grizzly down. Oh, cool, you get... I didn't realize I could Divine Wrath Raviel. That's hilarious. Imagine losing a god card to Divine Wrath. That's so ironic. It's almost painful. <laughs> Imagine a god card being defeated by god. Starboy. How much can we buff Orca? Can we make Orca... <laughs> can I make Orca strong enough to kill a god? That is the question. Can Sakamata Chloe use her stink <laughs> to, <laughs> to destroy god? Go on, Mother Grizzly. <laughs> Take one for the team. Ordeal. Mm, okay. Let me guess. Is it the god card? Oh no, he has another... <laughs> he has another trap in his hand. He has another continuous trap in his hand. What the hell? Is it another trap card by chance? Oh no, there's your right. He's summoning that. That, that uh, he's summoning that next turn. Because your eye's gonna be. Your eye's gonna be five thousand, isn't he? Because he's for every continuous trap, and we've killed two fairy boxes. Oh my word. Okay, never mind. Your eye's gonna be freaking insane. <laughs> your eye is gonna be actually cracked. But that's okay. As long as we can survive one turn of this, we can share the pain it. Totally not Slife of the Sky Dragon from Wish.com. The sacred beasts do look like Egyptian god ripoffs, don't they? Seven thousand four hundred, bruh. Fucking hell! That's so many attack points. Unless you have magic jammer to deny this. Okay. <laughs> Do you have another thing to stop me? I've countered so many of your things, Kagamaru. Ooh, wow! That's right, cry for me. And yeah, he's running. He's running out of options now. All right, let's just full bore into him. I think that's the strategy now. We just need to go face. We've countered so many things. And you know the best part? We have to do this again. After this duel, we have to do it all again. <laughs> Same deck, he's just younger now. <laughs> more, attack me more. Okay, old man. I know old people are pretty kinky, but my god. <laughs> Masochism was not on my list. Okay, yes, keep healing, whatever. Ah, oh, you piece of shit. He doesn't have another monster, though! Oh, thank god. He didn't have another monster at the end of that. The game showed mercy. But I think I've literally burned through all of his monsters. He has no more germs. He's played three new Dorias. I don't think he has any more level four or lower monsters. I think he only has Hammond as his only monster left. Oh, another wall of illusion. Okay, that's... You know what? It could be worse. Surely you don't have like a weird one-off magical cylinder. Surely. I'll attack with this anyway, just in case it's like a mirror force or something, which I highly doubt. 
Ordeal of Traveler? Actually, that's not so bad. You haven't placed your Light of Intervention. Oh, boom! Hit the Light of Intervention. Get fucked. <laughs> I was like, well, light of it. I knew he had a light of intervention. It was on the field. Who are you? I'm your worst nightmare, old man. I'm the Grim Reaper coming for your ass. <laughs> you think you've won? I do, actually. Your life points are zero and mine are 750, therefore making me the winner. I like this new buddy, but something's missing. Oh, I know, Dyer. I'm missing your soul. Now let's finish our duel. It already finished, I reduced you to zero life points. The door was definitely already over. Man, he's glowy. You know when they- on Twitter when people talk about having aura? Is this what they mean? <laughs> he just told me to deteriorate. I'm not the old man here. I mean, according to the internet I probably am old. I'm older than 20, therefore making me ancient. I just need to set up the wall. Bring on the wall! You have no weaknesses, except stall. What? What w <laughs> What's with the power move, Kagamaru? He's just like, yeah, let me just put these two into attack mode. For no reason. So I'll just wait for him to play his third Nudoria, then he'll use them all to summon Raviel, and then we kill Raviel, and then we're fine. And now they're back in defense mode. <laughs> What a weird power move to just be like, yeah, look at my monsters in attack. Okay, I need you to, like, do some deck search so you get below me on the, the deck count. <coughs> I was drinking water, and then I was like, oh, what's he gonna discard? Oh, only one of the three sacred beasts. Why did he throw away Ravi- I'm not, you know what, I'm not gonna complain. It's just a just a bit of an odd power move, really. Just a bit of a flex to throw away, throw away Raphael. Well, rip all of my water wall. Cause you're my water wall. Oh, my hand. Oh wait, that's actually good for me. Cause now you're lower than me on card count. Now you're severely lower than me on card count. You have three new Dorias, but no Raviel. Unless you have a second Raviel, which would make zero sense. Because if you do summon some, something strong enough, I'll just grizzly. <laughs> we can stall, not the dark hole! <laughs> My second water wall! <laughs> no! <laughs> Alright, the stronger water wall. This time in attack mode. It's the aggressive threequel. <laughs> it's the sequel of the sequel of the water wall. Yeah. <laughs> Sacred Beast player still throws- He's thrown away the other one too! <laughs> That's two Sacred Beasts in the grave. Are you proud of yourself, Kagamaru? <laughs> you th- Whoa, whoa, hold the phone. Hold the phone. You have two of those. That was definitely a second Raviel I just saw. Yeah, he has two! I thought the whole point of the Sacred Beasts was that there was only one of them. But not only does he have two of the same Sacred Beast, he threw them both in the graveyard! Who is this man? This is the final boss, by the way. Remember how Kamula was causing us so much grief? And you can beat the final boss by just waiting. It's like that boss in uh, Metal Gear Solid 3, is it? There's an old guy in one of the Metal Gear Solid games where if you wait a week, he just dies. He must really be thinking right now, like, ah, oh, shit, maybe, maybe I made a mistake. <laughs> maybe I built my deck wrong. Maybe focusing solely on getting out the Divine Beasts and then throwing them in the graveyard was probably not the wisest move. As if that worked. I can't believe. The starter deck? Not only is the starter deck good enough to beat the entire game, 
But the final boss can be stalled out significantly easier than trying to beat one of the Shadow Riders. It's not impossible. Do, do you want me to... You know how on chess.com, when you finish a match, it tells you how many times you blundered? Do you, do you want me to, like, build you a list of all the blunders you made? <laughs> it's gonna be a long one. Uh, it's true. I'm but an old man. Wanting simply what every old man wants. To be young again. And his ears are massive. Can you forgive a weak man for his delusion? No, you tried to sink the island and end the world with pseudo-god cards. Why would we forgive you? I can't, it's too late for that. It's never too late. Come on, try and get up. My hip is broken. Takamaru. Hey look, I'm standing. <laughs> standing here. I realize. <laughs> Jaden just starts punching him. <laughs> I'm still shirtless. No, it's me. I will duel me. No, I think if I dueled you three times, you'd actually die of a heart attack. You've become a fine duelist in three months. All these friends serve as proof. You know, I never actually talked to anybody but Bastion. How the hell does anybody even know me? I never went to class. I never spoke to anybody but Bastion. How do you people know me? <laughs> Are you just leeching off my popularity because I won the tournament? <laughs> I should be, like, unknown to you all. I was there the first day and then I dipped out. I was like that gif of the guy who, like, peace signs then fades away. That was me. But with school. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we beat the game with 11 losses. Genuinely? Looking at that status, an 80% win rate with only the starter deck is rather impressive. 43 to 11 without ever changing the deck? I'll take that. <laughs> I can't really complain.